Hi, I'm going to show you how to upgrade both types of memory in the Asus EPC-1000H. The first thing to do is to put something soft on your desktop so that you don't end up scratching the glossy surface of the laptop. The second thing to do is to actually remove the battery from the laptop before you open the panel at the bottom here. Once you've done that, simply place the laptop upside down so the panel is facing you just like it is now. You will only need one tool for the operation and that is a Phillips crosshead screwdriver. There are two screws that need to be undone. That's this one here and this one here. Once those two screws are undone, you can simply lift up the panel. Once the panel's lifted up, you'll be able to see both the items there that are already in the machine. You've got a Seagate 80 gig hard drive that comes standard with the actual laptop and you can see a 1 gig uh, memory module that also comes standard with a laptop so the first thing that I'm going to do is unclip the memory module out from the unit there are two clips here there's this one here and this one here once you've unclipped both of them the memory module should lift up from its seated position once that's happened, you simply pull it out and replace it with your replacement. Now, I've opted to go for a crucial uh, memory module, 2GB. The part number is CT25664AC667. The memory module itself was bought from ebio.com in the UK. I don't always go for crucial memory, I just usually go for um, Crucial, Kingston, uh, Corsair, uh, OCZ, any one of those brands will work perfectly fine. It's just that eBio had it um, on, on, a, on a very good price, so they were actually selling it cheaper than the official Crucial website. So you might want to check that out. Okay, so once you've unpacked your new memory module, it should look something like that. And it just goes in exactly the same way. The process is just reversed of how the original module was taken out. So I've just pushed it in, make sure all the pins are connecting with each other. It only goes in one way. There is a groove uh, which will guide you so that you don't actually put it in the wrong way around or anything like that. Once it's in, you simply push it down. The two clips on the side should clip inwards to secure the memory just to make sure that it's seating properly. Once that's done, uh, the only thing to upgrade next would be uh, the hard drive. So the hard drive, as I said, the, the one that comes standard with the machine is a Seagate 80GB SATA hard drive. Uh, I'm going to be replacing it with a Western Digital 320GB 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. Uh, you can actually, you don't have to replace it with a 320GB, obviously. You can replace it with any, any size you like. Uh, as long as it's a SATA 2.5 inch, it should work perfectly fine with the E1000H. Uh, I think hard drives up to 500 gigabytes should work perfectly fine. Anything above 500 gigabytes, I'm not too sure. So, there's two screws here. There's one here, and there's one here. I'm just going to undo them. It looks like the hard drive is actually sitting in a little bed, uh, which will pop out with the hard drive. That's just simply there so that when the hard drive is in the PC, it's just extra secure and doesn't move about. Okay, those two screws have been removed. Now, the best way to actually take the hard drive out from this laptop is you'll, you'll notice that there's a bit of a gap here. Um, that gap is obviously there so that you can move the hard drive towards the side and then lift it straight up. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I've just moved it to the side and lifted it up and as you can see that's how the hard drive comes out so I'll just move the E out of the way and we can take a look at the, the bed so that's the, the bed that the uh, original hard drive is actually sitting on um, there are usually screws, yes there's two screws here on the side there's uh, one here and one here and on the opposite side, there'll be another two, one here 
and one there. So those four screws need to be undone. Okay, so the four screws have been undone from the hard drive bed. I'm going to remove the hard drive, the original one. So you just simply lift it up, just like that. It comes up off from the bed. And then here we have a Western Digital uh, 320 gigabyte hard drive there. As you can see, physically they both look the same size. Uh, the Western Digital, I suspect, uh, will probably get a little bit hotter than the Seagate simply because it's a bigger size drive. Okay, the drive will seat in the same position as the original. Uh, what you'll need to do then is line up the screws on the side, the ones that you undid before, and then simply put them back. Oops. It's uh, always a good idea just to lightly um, screw in the screws first and then once they're all in uh, just give them uh, a little bit more of a, a screw in just to tighten them up a bit. Okay, so that's the uh, the replacement uh, Western Digital uh, drive uh, sitting on the bed now. I'll move that side, bring the E back uh, under the camera, and exactly the same, uh, but the reversal process of how I took out the uh, original hard drive. The bed goes in, and then I just simply push the drive into the SATA interface uh, which is just located here. Uh, once that's done uh, there are the other two screws if you remember that I undid. These two screws are actually uh, holding down the hard drive bed in place. These ones are quite small so be careful not to lose them. Okay, that hard drive's in. Uh, the last thing to do to finish off the process is to put the cover back on. There are three plastic notches, which are one, two, and three. Uh, make sure you line them up correctly. There we go. And then there's two screws, this one and this one here. They just need to be screwed in. And there you have it. The, uh, the laptop has now been upgraded to 2 gigabyte RAM and 320 gigabyte hard drive. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you out upgrading your Asus 1000H. Thank you.